Hey y'all, I hear it, uh, Griffey's Hot Rods. And uh, as I've told you before, Mr. Griffey is retiring a year from this month, um, May of 2017, and Kevin Riffey will be taking it over. So it's gonna be Riffey's Hot Rods instead of Griffey's Hot Rods. Like he's changed the first name and the first letter. Um, but anyways, he's got a 68 Camaro that he's done with a buddy of his, uh, James Clinton. And it's a 15 year build, dream kind of car. And man, it turned out nice. I thought it'd be a great way to introduce y'all to Kevin and the type of work he does. So let me get the camera turned around. We'll take a quick look at it. Man, that is cool, right? Anybody comes running up to me anymore and talks Camaro for some, ah, you know, I mean, we shoot so many Camaros. It's really got to be different, guys. It's really got to have the look. <laughs> Man, does that one have the look. Will you look at that? I love the hideaway headlights. That red paint. Awesome. The wheels color match the interior. And look at the gaps. That's what you got to look at the quality on this car because there's no customization to it. You know, it's no um, metal work. I mean, there's a lot of metal work to get those gaps right, but you know, there's, you know, everything's the way it was. So, in order to really appreciate the work that's gone into this car, you've got to notice like these door gaps, you know, how everything lines up, the fit, the finish. Not just the cool stance, which by the way, it's not on air. That's static. That's where it sits. Coil over. How crazy is that? Puts the 69 tail lights in it, or 68 tail lights without the backup lights, and then put the 69 tail lights down at the bottom. Purple Heart Combat Wounded Veteran. Always, always like to give them a shout out. 18s all the way around. Left the door handles on, but use the stylish door handle. I like that. But there again, look. Look how all that lines up. Crazy, man. Man, I like this one, Steve. Appreciate it, Scotty. Man, that is awesome, brother. I love it. That's no, awesome. it matches the car perfect, right? Yeah, it does. It really looks good. <clears throat> we tried to do some different things on it. You know, we did all the gray leather, red stitch in here to, to match the outside paint job. And then we used a, <clears throat> it's a vinyl inside this right here, but it's like a, uh, I don't even know what you'd really call it, but I mean, it was really cool looking. Yeah, it Something is. Something new, and we tried to, it, it looked really, really good in the inserts and then center of the console and really, you know, give it that contrast. Holy smokes, look at that. Head, headliner. Headliner? So we put a little 3D. bit of that same stuff in, this, in the center part of that right there. Wow. What are these seats out of? Well, they're actually just a set of seat frames and foam and, um, or seat frames and right. we made the foam and everything fitted all this stuff so you, usually you can buy just like a universal seat frame and then we build the foam however we want, want the design to look on the car no i love that red stitching almost matches that matches the paint perfect right yeah yeah we want to do something different in the floor too on this car that's a that's a real carpet that they make for, it's a, for a boat marine carpet so you, the it's, center in that in yeah. that floor mat. Yeah, that's, so that's a, a good group. Oh, that's a part of the floor. Isn't right, it? that is the floor itself. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, that's cool. And then we made the console go from the front to back. It's got TV screen in it, and the back goes all the way up through, to, all the way to the back window. Oh, and I love how it does in that back window. That is way cool too. Darth Vader looking. <laughs> yeah, that is awesome, dude. I love this one. That's why I say every time you you do a new one, though, Steve. I love it. I love it. If you notice, we did the dimensional door panels in there. Oh the, yeah. You know the clayton machine works aluminum that we polished up awesome man that is just crazy cool it, you know cover the dash and has this, you know the french seam in the dash and everything too and it matched the the trunk with it also i like that too steve thank you scotty yeah we incorporated the trunk you know obviously to make it look like the interior of the car use the same uh boat carpet in the center part right here and then the daytona square weave and then the you know clayton machine works uh, around the side of it and this is a, a, a cloth that we use for the headliner. Oh, something like really that different. That's nice. modern, yeah. yeah. That's like something you'd find in a new car. Mm -hmm. And then his floor comes up. I don't, you don't remember. remember. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember what's in there. Sure, either. yeah, it yeah, does. Well, you want it to come up, it comes <laughs> up, Scotty. No. no, that's real nice. Again, very nice job. Well, thank you. Kevin, again, beautiful job up underneath here. Right. Oh, thank you, Scotty. Tell me what we got going on. This is a 430 horse 350. Cool. It's a GM crate motor. Um, we put a billet specialist front runner kit on it. Um, just a Holley 750 carburetor. 
Look at that. 350 with a carburetor on it, right? Old school. Well, everybody taught tell us we need to go with LS motor. I didn't really want to go with LS motor. You know, this was a long-term project and the motor's are one of the first things you buy on a long-term project and really didn't want to change it at this point. Because you say you got what like 15 years in this? There's a, it's a 15 year project. Holy smokes. And then you've done a really nice job on getting your gaps and everything straight there on the fenders. Huh? Thank you. Yeah, we built all new panels to hide everything. And this where you can't see back in the fenders because you really the car is just as slick inside there as it is outside but you can't get in there to clean them right so it's a whole lot easier to to hide it as to try to clean it all the time to put something there to block the right. dirt instead of get to the dirt and it looks finished it does look finished and i love what you did with the distributor in the back on the firewall how you Thank just you. left that back yeah there. there's no this is a straight shift car there's no master cylinder no clutch master cylinder anything on the firewall we want to keep it super clean now, I really think we ended up with the, the right effect with it. Brother, you sure did, man, because that is, that's just nothing but motor, right? And that looks good. Thank you. Kevin, again, thanks so much for letting me come out, brother. Thank you, Scotty. Tell us a little bit. I know I, we hate to hear it, but Griffey's going to retire in about a year, and then you're going to take over the shop. He is going to retire, and uh, I've worked with him for 17 years. And it just worked out good for me just to take it over as opposed to try to go somewhere else and start over completely I, from new. I agree. Um, and it's still you still going to have the Griffey philosophy about building absolutely. cars because you've been a big part of that. Absolutely. it's it's There's nothing going to change. And as you can tell by the Camaro, it is done with the exact same quality of something that would been come out of Griffey's shop. The only thing that's going to change is the first letter of the name. The first letter of the name and the, the very first name across the top of the sign is, is the only thing that's going to change. The rest of it's going to stay the same. Awesome. Brother, again, thanks so much for letting me come out. Oh, thank you, Scotty.